Welcome back fellow Potterheads. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing the July edition of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Loot Crate box. And I'm super excited this month because the box is a really interesting shape. Um, so I'm not really sure what's gonna be inside of it, but I'm really excited. Um, if you're interested in getting this box, it is a bi-monthly subscription through Loot Crate. Um, <clears throat> I've been getting it for a while and most Almost every time I'm really impressed with what's inside of the box and um, if you're interested in getting this subscription I will leave all the details down below in the video um, but let's see let's start with the sticker this month is super cute um, it's a little blue pocket square it's teal kind of like Newt's coat in Fantastic Beasts and there's an adorable little um, bow truckle little picket sticking out of the top of the pocket square and it's just super super cute and like I said you can kind of see the box is shaped a little differently than they usually are so I'm like I'm super excited to dig into this um so let's go Alohomora okay so the theme of this month's crate is magical creatures as you can see from the box um it's really really big I'm gonna try and fit it all on the screen but it looks like it's gonna be Newt's case um you can kind of see it looks like um, a creature is trying to scratch out of there um, so I can't wait to take it apart now all of Loot Crate's boxes for Wizarding World at least so far have been reversible so if you unfold all the flaps and you reverse them you can put it back together and you have a really cool interestingly designed box you can store like knickknacks photos ticket stubs I'm one of those magpie people I keep everything in fact my Patronus was actually a magpie when I took the quiz on Pottermore so I guess it was pretty accurate, but let's dive into the box. First up is this really plain white box, and I'm not sure. Oh, oh, <laughs> it says, warning, hide shiny objects before opening, which makes me think that has something to do with a Niffler, because they like shiny, sparkly things, um, they're good treasure hunters. So let's dig into it. All right, let's see, we have some styrofoam. So I'm thinking something is breakable. <gasps> Oh my god, how cute is this? Oh, it's a little Niffler bank. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, he's got a little coin. Oh, oh, and you can take the bottom off to get your change out. This is so cute. I love this. Nifflers are adorable. I would totally have one if I lived in Wizarding World, even though they would destroy my house and everything like that. But um, he looks, he sounds like he's made out of ceramic. So fragile, breakable, but that is super, super cute. I love that. I'm gonna have to do a Niffler appreciation post on my Instagram for all this. This is so cute. Oh, adorable. All right, well, we're off to a really good start with this box and that makes me really, really excited. So. Next, um, well, since it's right up front here, so we have a Fantastic Beast item. This crate tends to have a mixture of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast items. So um, if you're more Fantastic Beasts, you know you're not left out of the, of the scene. Personally, I'm more Harry Potter because I, you know, I grew up with Harry Potter. In fact, we just celebrated the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in the Americas, in the Americas, <laughs> in America, United States, um, and that came out when I was just a child, so I grew up reading Harry Potter, but Fantastic Beast stuff is also really cool. Okay, stop talking, Alyssa, and, <laughs> and tell them what it is. Uh, we have a cookie cutter set of four. We have a Niffler, and a Rumpet, a Swooping Evil, and a Bow Truckle, so let me see if I can get this off. So, <clears throat> cookie cutter, these are adorable. Oh, Man, Loot Crate, you are on point this month. Okay, let's see if I can get this open. Okay, all right, so they're plastic cookie cutters. Can't, why can't I get this out of the box? I don't know. All right, um, so we got the Swooping Eagle, the Bow Truckle, the Rumpet, and the Niffler. And actually, I don't know if you can see it, but all the cookie cutters have the name of the beast inside of them as well. They're all made out of pretty sturdy plastic. Um, I can't take them out, so let me see why. Oh, okay, because they have like a good handle on the back of it. So these are super cute. I love to bake, I love to cook. Um, 
and I have a niece who is six and she's just getting into Harry Potter. So maybe we can make some super cute Fantastic Beast cookies out of these shapes. And unfortunately they are hand wash only, not safe for my oven or the microwave. Um, but you know, hand wash these, don't put them in your dishwasher. They'll probably melt and we don't want that because these are super cute. So that's awesome. All right, um, let's do this because it's got Hagrid. So it is a Rubius Hagrid Magical Creature Sticky Notes. Okay, so we got Hagrid in his hut, which looks like a big sticky note. Take that plastic off. Oop. Ah! Knocking everything over. Um, and then the little sticky notes, which are like little page tabs. Looks like we have a hippogriff. Um, a Thestral, Hedwig, and Fang. These are adorable. I love, I don't know what the design is, but the ones that are a little more um, like cartoony, or maybe like a little geared a little bit more towards children, the way that they design them, I really like them. So I think this is super cute. So sticky notes, let's see. Yeah, this is really, really, really cute. I write a lot of notes at work, but I think I'm gonna save these for like special occasions and cards and whatnot, because these are just super, super cute. Adorable, love it. Everything in this box is month is so good. Um, what's this? This is, um, oh no. Apparently there is a missing item from this crate. Unexpected manufacturing delay, oh, <laughs> Duh, it just occurred to me that there's no wearable item in this box. <laughs> so there's a t-shirt apparently, but it is late in being shipped to Loot Crate, so it's late to be in our box. And you know, actually now that I think about it, this crate shipped um, a little later than normal. I actually didn't get it until August, even though it's the July crate, so I didn't even realize that the wearable wasn't in this box. So that's how excited I was about the Niffler bank in the beginning that I totally just didn't even notice. So you can kind of see the flaps are starting to come off. But like I said, you can reverse these boxes. So the last item in the box is the pin. So this should be the last item. I'm gonna need to put something in this box because it's a little top heavy. So we'll put the Niffler back in to hold it down. But they're doing a Horcrux series. This should be the last pin in the series of Horcrux pins. It's a double pin, so it should be Nagini. Let's see here, what do we got? Oh, that is badass. Sorry for the swearing, but that is so cool. <laughs> okay, oh wait, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. It says the Godric Gryffindor enamel pin which I guess it is it is Nagini. Oh cool, the sword comes out. <gasps> oh, this is hella cool. You can kinda, like in Chamber of Secrets and Harry kinda, you know, stabby, 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 um, gets him. So I guess this is supposed to be Nagini in the Horcrux pins, but the fact that it says Godric Gryffindor enamel pin, I wonder if they're gonna do the next pin series with the founding um, house members, so Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, or if this is just a coincidence that Nagini, who was killed with Gryffindor's sword, is still it's still in line with the Horcrux series. But this is super cool, and it actually reminds me of the first pin I got, the first box I got actually like last year, a while ago, was the first box in the Horcrux series. And it was Tom Riddle's diary and it had like the diary and then like it had a little chain connecting it to a basilisk fang. So I love that it has come full circle with the pins and the fact the way that they're designed. And that is just a really gorgeous looking pin. I like to wear these pins at work. Um, and sometimes my coworkers are like, oh, that's a really interesting pin. And you know, what is that? And they don't realize it's Harry Potter, but um, I love, love wearing pins and that is super beautiful it's pretty weighty you know there's a lot going on there but it's a really nice enamel pin um, and I love all of the pins that they have I have a collection going now and I'm probably gonna have a lot towards the end so okay so that's all that was in this box let me get the <clears throat> little brochure out here now I wonder if they're gonna spoil the wearable item in here 
probably oh yeah they are okay well I guess I'll just be spoiled so if you don't want to look look away um, for the the wearable that's coming in but like I said it was magical creatures so we had the cookie cutters the pin the notepad and the adorable Niffler bank and looks like we have a t-shirt that has all magical creatures on there we got dragons Niffler Demi guys um, Hippogriff, Unicorn, Grindelow, um, what else we got here, um, a Thestral, lots and lots of creatures, oh, a little, um, oh, God, what are they called, um, the little fizzing Wisby guys, oh, okay, fail, I can't remember, it's like a doxy owl, so yeah, that's gonna be the t-shirt, um, and when it comes in, I'll probably just do a picture on my Instagram post, um, on my channel there, but, Basically, this just explains, you know, what's going on in there that was in the box this month. These um, pamphlets are included in every box. They made them to look like Hogwarts letters. So, <clears throat> overall, the box this month was really good. My favorite item by far was this super cute Niffler bank. Um, he is adorable. I might take him to work and put him on my desk because, I mean, come on, look at that face. Oh, so cute. Really, really good box this month, Loot Crate. I'm really happy because... Lately, some of these items haven't been as good, but this box was definitely legit, worth the price of it. So if you're interested in getting this box, like I said, I'm going to keep all the information down below. You can subscribe and then leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was in the box. Like I said, mine is definitely the little Niffler pin or bank and then definitely this pin. This, I'm just like obsessed with this pin. So um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, I think this is going to be it. Until next time, I should have another unboxing coming soon. So check a look out for that. And then, of course, always subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more Harry Potter nerdless.